everyone a quick message regarding the return of the Lord Jesus there are still many people today who believe that we're not going to be here to see the Antichrist anyway so why do we talk about it I'm concerned for those people and I'm going to share the scripture to them hoping that they will listen to please listen to the Word of God and what he says in the book of the second Thessalonians chapter 2 it reads now brethren concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him we ask you not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled either by spirit or by word or by letter as if from us as though the day of Christ had come the day of Christ our gathering together to be with him let no one deceive you by any means that day will not come unless the falling away or apostasy in the Greek comes first and the man of sin is revealed the son of perdition who we call the Antichrist he's going to be revealed first then the Lord's return comes for us after now I know people have twisted that even and to insert in there a different interpretation saying that there's two comings one is a secret being caught away and the second is his physically open public appearance it's wrong friends. what is the plain reading of that scripture telling us number one is the guarantee that we will see the Lord and we will always be with him number two the falling away is coming first or what they term the great apostasy and number three we're going to be witnesses to the appearance of the antichrist the son of perdition the lawless one we're going to be here to see it we are the people that he comes to make war against so we need to be on, on earth we need to be actually physically present for him to come against us remember what it says in uh 12th chapter of revelation so the serpent spewed water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman israel that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood but the earth helped the woman and the earth opened its mouth which swallowed up the flood which the dragon had spewed out of his mouth and the dragon was enraged with the woman and he went to make war he meant he went to make a war with the rest of her offspring who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ those who have the testimony of Jesus Christ are called Christians we're going to be here these are not the tribulation saints you guys the dragon comes to make war against us why are we running away from that the word of God has said it is going to come to pass this is why it is also written in 1st Thessalonians chapter 5 this is why Paul wrote this but concerning the times and the seasons brethren you have no need that I should write to you for you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. To whom does the Lord come as a thief in the night? Those who are sleeping, not aware, not awake. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day, this day of the Lord, should overtake you as a thief you are all sons of light and sons of the day we are not of the night nor of darkness therefore let us not sleep as others do but let us watch and be sober others are asleep although they keep saying that they are woke this is a great deception friends i'm sorry to say that you are being deceived when you are not prepared for the return of the lord jesus you are being deceived when you are not prepared when the Antichrist, son of perdition, is going to be revealed, who comes to make war against us. You are not prepared. You are asleep in your slumber. You have been deceived. The word of God is so clear. I pray that you will listen to this message. Go to those scriptures and pray and fast over it. That's what it's going to take. 
there are ministries that they're still teaching this that we're going to get caught away before the antichrist shows up and it's not true i hate to tell you it's not true please share this and let it get out to those who are still in the dark who are still asleep who are still in their slumber please this is really important time is of the essence when things are getting crazy in the middle east surrounding jerusalem we know that the days are getting darker and time is short so i appreciate your help in me getting this message out please share it thank you